Alrighty, afternoon everyone, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and welcome to the spaceport of Abu Dhabi. Well, it's actually an airport, but it kind of looks like a spaceport. And this is a scenery from, oh wow, Brook 3D, Brook, Braddock 3D, Brook, something like that. If, if you go to the marketplace and then search for um, Abu Dhabi, I think there's only one. And uh, yeah, what a cool looking airport. Let's have a look at the airport. Let's, um, okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, right. Camera speed is always at minus 3000. This is the, um, yeah, that's the airport. I, I think that's some kind of a new part that looks so cool. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I mean, it's the airport. Yeah, but it, it really looks like a spaceport actually. But, uh, yeah, what a cool airport. Yeah, everything full of solar panels. That's uh, what I would do here. Here as well, I think. Wow. This looks really nice. Really, really nice. And I think that's a tower. Well, maybe not. This is a tower. But that looks cool. Well, it's another tower. It's, well, it's a tower anyway. Wow. Maybe this is some old part of the airport or something, but that looks... Oh, this is, um, I think, where the heavy gates are, according to the paintings on the ground. I think this is where I should have parked, but wow. Yeah, nice, nice airport. Oh, look, there's another plane like ours. Yeah, cool airport. Isn't isn't uh, very expensive. It um, don't know, costs you like a tenner or something, ten quid, I think. Maybe like it's it's not very expensive. But um, yeah, and this is um, this is where we start today, and we're going from Abu Dhabi to Delhi in India, which is the Ethiopian flight two two four, and uh, the flight on a Tuesday this day is done with a seven eight X, so that's a seven eight seven dash ten, and of course we have that in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and we have the heavy division mod which I always said I would check out, and uh, yeah, today I do. So uh, this is it. I mean, it doesn't look really different from the outside, but um, nice livery. I love these Middle Eastern Airlines liveries, like Ithiad and Emirates and Qatar. Even this Royal Jordanian here is, looks kind of cool. But anyway, um, this is the plane that we're using, and I already uh, created a sim brief and I'm going to import it here. It looks pretty similar as it does in the TOLUS. Like one click, everything's there, everything's fine, which is really, really nice. Uh, but we're going to do, uh, yeah, we're going through all that uh, step by step. So let's first uh, get the camera and then go back into the cockpit. Yeah, that's the cockpit and it looks very familiar. It's, I think, basically the same as the, um, as the vanilla. Uh, at least I don't really see a bit of difference. I see a lot of difference. And yeah, uh, so we start, of course, with the standard stuff, which would be the battery. Abu right. Dhabi clearance delivery, HD oh, 78. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, okay. Take off runway tree, one left climb, and maintain 13,000 feet. Departure frequency is one two four decimal eight five squawk zero three six five. Okay, now we already have our clearance. Two two four heavy clear to Delhi Airport is filed. Take off runway three one left climb and maintain thirteen thousand feet. Departure on one two four decimal eight five squawk zero three six five. Zero three six five. Two two four heavy readback correct. Contact ground on one two one decimal nine or five. Good day. Here, zero three six five. Okay. Okay. Now this was a little bit ahead of time. We were here in the overhead panel, and uh, we were turning the battery on, and then we are turning the external power on. And there are three. And of course, nav logo we can turn on. 
so the um i think the heart is this one there's a um as you can see right, there's an efb here but that doesn't do anything like that yeah uh, maybe uh, at some point in the future um, a sobo or heavy division will put the stuff in here but at the moment it's like in the pmdg you have to do everything via this fmc which isn't just like in the pmdg not really a big problem so you go to heavy and then you have your um oh wait yes no no here i have to do that because this will take a while um irs menu aligning okay time real this is where you set everything up you can um configuration this is where you can do your sim brief settings and all that um i have metric units because my sim brief has metric units um and if you have no idea what it is payload manager we get into that in a second okay so you go to index and then you go to pos okay Then we go to our root, and now the procedure is very much like uh, in the PMDG. Root request, load from simbrief. We don't have to load the file, we can use the simbrief. FMC processing, okay, waiting. 20, you see, we have 22 legs, and now it's processing them. You can see then one by one, here's the airway that's been used for this. Okay, now you can see we have the, um, I think this is from the world map, I put it in there as well, but um, now the same procedure, so we have to activate and then execute. And I hope now everything is the way it should be, then we can go to legs and you can see here, ding, 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 we have everything, next page. Next page, next page. Everything in here. Wait a second. I just want to have something that is not used. So we are not uh, disturbed here. Anyway, where were we? Ah, we were at the root. Root looks good. Let's see the partial arrival. What did they give us? Runway 31 left. Okay. Oh, this is 31 left. To rock two, this is already in. Nice. Okay. Then this is basically done. And now we get to the payload manager. You have to go to the heavy menu here. And you can see how oh, it's already used these values. Okay. Good. Then we have that, we have that, we have that, we have that. We have the departure, the arrival we uh, get to when we arrive. Our legs look good. We have to. Thrust limit, okay, let's go here, 30, you always have to choose a higher temperature for some reason, no idea why, that's just the way it is, I just put in one degrees higher. Flaps we're using 5, runway 31, and then, 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 let's see, wow, FMC prefect complete, okay. Um, okay, then let's, I always switch this around. Um, you can have the, where's my system page here? Okay. I think then we can turn on the beacon light. Um, seatbelt signs can go on. Then we can start the APU. You, you've noticed that this fuel pump is now auto activated. I think that's probably one where the APU um, gets this fuel from. And now you can see on the system page here how the APU is spooling up. This is a percentage, so you see 100% and the temperature isn't really there. Um, let's, let's wait until this stabilizes. Okay, looks like it's stabilized now. Then let's get rid of the 
let's turn on the APU generator and then let's get rid of the external power. So then let's ask for pushback. <laughs> Tuning ground, request pushback. Ground HD 78X Echo Yankee 224, heavy requesting pushback. HD 78X Echo Yankee 224, heavy pushback request accepted. Okay, then let's then then push us back, and in the meantime we can start the engines. You notice that this this is very you don't have no APU bleed, you don't have anything like that. It's like just like um yeah, start the engines maybe start the fuel pumps. Don't know where this is off, but um, oh, wait, we have to and then. Turn these guys on and then everything else should. Okay, let's give the dude the communication. Ground HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy with Echo ready to taxi IFR. HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy taxi 2 and hold short of runway tree 1 left using taxiway golf box drive golf echo cross runway 1 tree right echo golf Charlie golf. Contact tower on 119 or decimal 2 when ready. Taxiing hold short runway tree one left using taxiway golf foxtrot golf echo cross runway one tree right echo golf charlie golf hd 78x echo yankee 224 heavy okay then i say we can turn the apu off And then let's do some taxi preparation. Take off flaps five. No, that's ten. That's five. Let's go on TA only. And then do flight control checks before we start. Okay, for left, neutral, for right, neutral, for front, neutral, for back, neutral, rather left. Neutral, rather right. Neutral. All right. That looks good. Then let's taxi to runway something or other. Okay. Tower HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy Ready for departure runway 31 left IFR to Delhi. HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy QNH 29er Decimal 5 Niner Wind 29er 8 at 16. Traffic is Boeing on final. Cleared for takeoff runway 31 left. Hmm. Cleared for takeoff runway tree, one Five, left HD nine. 78 X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy. Uh, ah, damn. 100. Okay. Traffic. Well, there's either traffic or I'm clear to take off. Which one is it? I uh, don't see any traffic. Okay, then let's... Let's go. Oh. Flight director's on. 
NF, VNF. Okay. At least that's how we do it in the 737. Now let's see. Clock is running anyway. We cannot reset that. At least I don't know how this works. At least not in the vanilla planes. They're always already running. No idea. Uh, that's not a very good view. Or is there anything useful here? No. I want to see my speeds and all that stuff. Uh, thought I already did this, but uh, never mind. Okay, then let's... Um, Go to Delhi, leave this cool airport. Okay, 80 nuts, oh, no call outs. Oh, there's already V1. V1. Ah. And uh, rotate, okay, no call out for that. Ooh, easy. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. Okay, flaps in. Echo Yankee 224 Heavy Contact Emirates Center on 124.85. Good day. Okay. Going to 124.85 HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's one big ass Ferrari dealership. All right. Caution, uh, yeah, something's really wrong. Um, turn off the autopilot for now. Okay, now, um, yeah, something went wrong. I was very slow. And then I, like, changed course and... The plane was, like, um, jiggling around all the time. It didn't really look that good. Try to get back on route here. I don't know if I can use the. Hope it's trying to get back on track now. It's really weird the entire time. Well, at least it doesn't lose that much speed at the moment. KHM, why are you not. Shouldn't you, like, fly in the other direction now?
Why have I control over the plane? Shouldn't the autopilot? Um, can you go to like the next one directly? Yes. then we are about well, 20 miles to the top of the descent already i'm expecting the atc to send us down any minute or at least at the top of the descent there um again we are following atc not going to initiate the descent ourselves although as you can see it's all built in here very nicely uh so um arrival preps What did we have to do? We have to do. We have to approach our VRF speed exactly. So we're landing 25, 143 then. Okay, 25, 143. HD 78XECO Yankee 224 Heavy, keep speed not above 250 knots. Okay. Keep speed not above 250 knots HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy. HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy descend and maintain flight level 290. Okay. Descend and maintain flight level 290 HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy. Runway 28, Charlie Hotel, India. Descend and maintain 7,000 feet. Okay. feet. Expect VOR DME Zulu Runway 28 approach via Charlie Hotel, India transition. Clear to Charlie Hotel, India HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy. 
Maintain present Shiny heading and altitude India. HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy. Eight seven eight. The Star Nine or Eight Eight. I have the runway in sight. The Star Nine or Eight Eight. You are nine or miles southeast of Delhi. HD seventy eight X Echo Yankee two two four heavy traffic is nine o'clock three miles at two thousand two hundred feet Airbus. Report them in sight. HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 heavy traffic in sight. Cleared VR DME Zulu runway 28 approach Air India 468. Gifley 2279 or contact Delhi approach on 124 decimal 25. Good day. Approach on okay. 124 decimal. Let's go approach. Is there no lock mode? Oh, there it is. Follow the Airbus on final. Air India 538 Heavy Delhi Tower. QNH 29 or decimal 851 com cleared VR DME Zulu runway 2 Okay, I can't see jack shit. The Star and 9 or 35 line up and wait. If we 2752 go around. If we 6048 number 4 for landing. Follow the aircraft on final. Wind calm cleared to land runway 28. If we 6384 turn next taxiway. HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy Number 5 for landing. Follow the aircraft on final. Wind calm cleared to land runway 28. The Stara 886 go around. If we 6384 contact ground on 118.55. Cleared to land runway 28 Number 5 HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy. 118.55 for Ifleet 6384. Going around the Stara 886. Okay, now Going to we were approach 42 is correct. Okay, we should capture the light slot now. Uh, yes. But we haven't captured the... Haven't captured the localizer. Okay, I can't see anything. Seven fifteen. A bit too fast, by the way. Um. I'm not 142. Going around Spice Jet 535. Okay, he's too fast. Spice Jet 535. That's the air. I can see the airfield. Uh, the 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 uh, Okay. HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy, go around. Okay, then I'm doing the auto land. It's okay, but it looks like I'm One, two, four, decimal, <laughs> not making five, it off the five. runway. What is you doing? Going around if we six, zero, oh five. boy. Okay. That was very bad. Okay, so there is no auto land here. The autopilot was off the glide slope, uh, off the localizer. And it didn't flare, it didn't do anything, it just... Okay, that was... Uh, it was pretty terrible. Clear to land runway 28 number 2, Air India 538 Heavy. Delhi Tower Air India 605 at runway 11 ready for departure IFR to Chhatrapati Shivaji. Can we please... please... Oh, thank God. Wouldn't shut up. 
Okay. Request taxi to the gate. Delhi Ground HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy request taxi to the gate. Okay. Taxiing to gate 215 via taxiway Mike Papa Mike 1 Romeo Romeo 2 Romeo Tree Romeo 5 Sierra Charlie Whiskey 1 Whiskey Tree Charlie Whiskey 1 Whiskey 2 Charlie Whiskey 1 HD 78X Echo Yankee 224 Heavy. Welcome to Delhi. Um, yeah, very low visibility. I thought this thing had an auto land, but we were like next to the localizer. It didn't really capture the localizer or didn't, I don't know, um, didn't flare as well. So I th don't think this thing has auto land. I know that the headwinds had auto land, although I never tried it. I should probably do that. Maybe next time we use the. Uh, we check on that in the in the headwinds, but um, so better be prepared to land this thing yourself. This is not going to land. Uh, there's no auto land here. Anyway, um, yeah, I cannot turn off the um, Elna for some reason. I'm no idea what's going on there. Um, yeah, let's um, yeah taxi to the gate and then. Let's see what I think about the uh, Heavy Division mod for the 787. Well then again, welcome to Daily. Uh, so what do I think about this plane then? Uh, first of all, I still love delivery. Second, um, it's a massive improvement over the vanilla one. Not that that's much to shout about. It's still not really, I wouldn't say it's very good though. I like the fact that the entire avionics, the entire FMC, the entire overhead panel, everything is working. The Simbrief integration is fantastic. You just one click, everything is there. You load it, your route is there, everything is... This is like tourist quality, really good. But the flight itself, or flying itself, is like the plane was jiggling all the time. One time it stalled, as you saw, I had to catch it. Um, so that's kind of dangerous. Uh, I don't know if that is down to the specific weather that we have. We had a tailwind of 150 knots or something. But um, I don't think it should happen. Also, the EFB is not working, not really that, met that much of a problem, but yeah, I'm missing kind of the entire small stuff, like the boarding, the fueling, the, the loading, unloading, the boarding, all that stuff that works in the PMDG, that works in the Phoenix, that works in the fly-by-wire, that works in the headwinds. I think for long-range flying, the headwinds is way more matured. I did not have that much issues flying, and I think the headwinds also has, a, also has an auto land. So low visibility, you are on the safe side there. So kind of a mixed bag. I'm glad it's there. I'm glad they, I'm pretty sure they keep working on it. I'm pretty sure they're going to improve it even more and more. And um, it's way better than the than the vanilla one, but it's not on the same level as a headwind A330. Okay, I leave you now in um, daily and I catch you in the next one. Until then, take care and um, choose. Uh,